मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल बिनो त्रिपाठी वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास सी स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट 1 टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड 5 फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन सिविक्स चैप्टर 6 रूल्स आर फॉर एवरीवन सी स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियस चैप्टर 5 वी हैव लर्न फैमिली वैल्यूज एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दैट रूल्स आर फॉर एवरीवन सो सी स्टूडेंट्स रूल्स मींस व्हाट इट मीन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस आर फॉर एवरीवन can you tell some questions are there students first question can you tell some traffic rules second question give reasons why we should obey these rules that means what is your that means you have to give the reasons why we should obey these rules third question which one of these rules do you feel needs to be changed that means uh, which one of these rules do you feel that means according to your view opinion you feel that needs to be changed Fourth question, what other rules do you think are needed for better discipline in traffic? And see students, what do you think that, so what other rules do you think that are needed for better discipline in traffic? Okay, so we follow traffic rules so that traffic moves smoothly, properly. So that's why we have to follow the traffic rules. Okay students, in the same way there are rules of social life that tell us what each person should be doing and same way students there are rules of social life also that tell us what each person should be doing rules needed to be made to specific each person's duties and responsibilities if we follow the rules our day-to-day -day life become discipline and say students rules we have to follow the rules not to disobey the rules and when we follow the rules our day-to-day -day life becomes a discipline proper in a proper manner we can work more efficiently and this way we can more work in an efficient manner that means more efficiently so that's why we have to follow the rules and regulations okay students rules are meant for everybody so say students what are the rules and regulations are there that are meant for everybody they apply equally to all no one is above the rules so it is for all and we have to follow the rules and regulation disobeying the rules lead to punishment and not to disobey that we have to follow the rules we have to obey the rules not to disobey the rules okay students when we are disobeying the rules it leads to be punishment so there is no discrimination in punishments for breaking the rules in this way equality is the basis of rules and say students so we have to that means uh, disobey the rules leads to punishment and there is no discrimination no differentiations in punishments for breaking the rules suppose you are doing that uh, you are disobeying the rules so you are getting the punishments in this way equality is the basic of rules and this way students equality is the basis of rules changes in rules for the society so see students our society works according to certain rules so you all know that our society it works according to certain rules are there so we make the rules ourselves we follow these rules because they are meant for the common good and see students so we make the rules ourselves and we follow these rules because they are meant for the common good proper changes are also introduced in the rules made for a society and see students that means proper changes are also introduced in the rules made for a society. There is a difference between the rules of society and the law of nature. So there are differences are there between the rules of society as well as the law of the nature. Okay. Natural occurrence follow law of nature. We cannot change the law of nature. And see students, we cannot change the law of nature. The rising and setting of the sun. That also we cannot change. Okay students. That is that will be fixed the rising and the setting of the sun and the change in the seasons and you, you all know that students and the change in the seasons also never stop the law of gravity does not change and also the law of gravity does not change the rising and falling of the tides you know high, high tides low tides the paces of the moon all of these things occur according to the law of nature and you know students all of these things are occur according to the law of nature nature's law are constant constant means what is that means continuous and fixed 
दे डो नॉट एवर बिकम आउटडेटेड ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स दैट मीन्स नेचर नेचर्स लॉ आर कॉन्स्टेंट मीन्स कंटिन्यूस एंड फिक्स एंड दे डो नॉट एवर बिकम आउटडेटेड मीन्स आउट ऑफ डेट हाउ एवर ह्यूमन लॉ नीड टू बी चेंज विथ चेंजिंग कंडीशन एंड यू नो दैट ह्यूमन लॉ इट विल बी चेंज विथ चेंजिंग कंडीशंस द लॉस फॉलोड इन इंडिया अंडर द रूल ऑफ द ब्रिटिश वेर डिफरेंट एंड यू ऑल ऑफ दैट ब्रिटिश इज आर रूल ओवर इंडिया कंट्री ओके सो द लॉ फॉलोड इन इंडिया अंडर द रूल ऑफ द ब्रिटिश वेर डिफरेंट when india gained independence the situation changed and the law of civic life changed accordingly so after that when we got independence the law has changed okay students for example after independence the voting age was 21 years and after 1988 the voting age was lowered to 18 years so see so very good examples are given here so that means uh, after independence the voting age was how much 21 years are there but after 1988 the voting age was lowered to 18 years so it was changed na and this way we can say about that that means humans law needs to be changed with changing conditions okay students see students try this totally cancel no need to read this and next one is always remember that also cancel i have marked with pencil no need to read this okay students see students in the picture people of every age needs nourishing foods yes so people of every age they need nourishing foods means nutrients a nourishing food makes you healthy and strong okay students next one is see that don't girls need as nourishing a diet as is given to boys so what do you think that uh, that means don't girls need a nourishing diets as is given to a boy it is not like that because both boy and girls are the are the same they are same they are equal so both needed the nourishing foods diet at home they feel only my brother needs good food so it is not like that okay students so both girls and boys both need the nourishing diet food okay students because both are equals boys and girls both are equals can you tell first question how will you answer the girls question so what that means students what what is your opinion that means what do you think that so what will be your answer will be there next question in what other way do you feel there is discrimination between boys and girls that is also you have to give your opinion your view it is incorrect so see students it is totally incorrect that means it is it is totally wrong to discriminate between boys and girls that means to differentiate between boys and girls not to make any differentiations not to discriminate between boys and girls because both are equal it is unjust to deprive girls of good food or to prevent them from going to school so it is it is unjust students so girls also have the rights they can eat good food healthy food and they can take education in the good schools okay students such injustice can also be seen with respect to other sections of society and that's why students boys and girls both have the equal rights so both should get the equal that means they should not face any injustice so in the society both have the equal rights in the picture below what injustice do you observe so see students in your textbook pictures are shown here so first question see that uh, see that uh, farmer is sitting and there was a landlords means zamindar sir there okay so i have written all your money how can i still be in debt so you know students uh, farmers you know farmers are very poor okay and uh, so they are taking the money from landlords or zamindars so what he is saying that i have written all your money that means whatever taken the money i have written all how can i still be debt in debt debt means karj so what he said that so whatever the money i have taken i have given everything so how can i still be in debt so see students there was a totally injustice are there okay and see the next picture see that even though i work without a single holiday in a month why do you pay me so little so see students 
see that uh, see that means uh, see the picture see that means a maid maid means what female servant first she is saying that i work without a single holiday in the month means full month i have i am working i am not taking any holiday so why do you pay me so little so here also there was a injustice okay students in the society can you see that okay so that should be not happen in the society okay students so see that rules have to be met to ensure that no injustice is done and see students because of that rules have to be met to ensure that no injustice is done okay students can you tell a list of rules is given below each rules has a specific purpose some rules have more than one purpose so see students a list of rules is given below and each rule has a specific purpose okay and some rules have the more than one purpose so discuss each rules in class under the headings means heading means what is student that means title this is what i think note down your opinion that means what is your opinion you have to note down then so so many points are there just first read the first point prohibition see prohibition means what uske rok lagana ban karna prohibition against loud speaker in public place after 10 o'clock at night so see students that means uh, during festival time like ganesh utsav navratri on that time uh, loud speakers because of loud speakers you know students lots of noise is coming at public place and people can't sleep at night after 10 o'clock so that's why it was prohibited us pe kya gaya kya kiya gaya hai rok lagaya gaya against loud speaker okay second point is free primary education for boys and girls so see student government has started free primary education for boys as well as girls because education is very very important for children okay and because of that government has started free primary education for boys and girls third point prohibition against dumping garbage in the river so not to throw the garbage in the river to so kya gaya kya kiya gaya hai rok lagaya gaya okay and fourth point protection against domestic violence for women women should not suffer okay they should not face any problems because of that protection against domestic violence for women and fifth point is ban on child labor so see students that means 7 to 14 years of age children have the right to take education they should not do the work in the factories or hotels or carpet making factories all this place they should not do the work so that's why child labor is totally banned okay students so child will take only education 7 to 14 years of age so that's why it was that means child labor was banned okay and last point that is sixth point is ban on felling trees hunting and poaching that means not to cut the trees without any reason not to kill that anim animals not to hunt them so all this that also totally banned okay students so what is your opinion that you have to note down we follow many customs and traditions in our lives we follow those traditions by observing our mother father grandparents and other relatives and see students that means we follow many customs and traditions in our lives okay and we follow those traditions by observing or observing our mothers father grandparents and other relatives there are several good customs and traditions in our society and see students in society there are so many that means several good customs and traditions are there in our society we celebrate festivals together and we are celebrating festivals together and we welcome guest our that means who visit us see students so we always welcome guest who visit us and are hospitable to them okay students many of our customs enable us to maintain the balance of nature and so many customs are there enable us to maintain the balance of nature so we express our love and gratitude towards animals not to kill the animals without a reason the values of non violence and peace have been a part of our social life since ancient times as see students since ancient times the values of non violence and peace have been a part of our social life okay that means not to hurt any animals not to kill the animals and this is students the value of non violence and peace have been a part of our social life since ancient times even so there are some traditions and customs that are not desirable they are not beneficial for our society so some examples are given here students so 
even so that means there are some traditional customs are there that are not desirable okay and they are not beneficial for our society let's see the caste distinction that is caste discrimination and because of this a divide has been created in society so see students you know caste discrimination because of that what happened that a divide have been has been created in society and because of that it has given rise to inequality there is no equal so it was rise given rise to inequality and see students untouchability was an inhuman and unjust customs and uh, see students the constitution of independent india abolished the customs of untouchability and you know after independence so the constitution of independent india it was totally abolished the customs of untouchability why because untouchability was an inhuman and unjust custom okay students many times law have to be made to abolish unjust customs and say students sometimes that means uh, many times law have to be made why to abolish the unjust customs which are totally unjust in our country customs such as sati and child marriage were abolished by making law that banned them and say students in our country india country customs such as sati and child marriage that also that were also abolished by making law that banned them okay the law that banned the use of magic that means magic for cheating keeper i was first enacted in maharashtra see students the law that banned the use of military magic for cheating that which is cheating people and was first enacted in maharashtra receiving a dowry has been banned by law and see students receiving a dowry during the marriage time not to take the dowry all this thing that also banned by law so all these which are customs are that means unjust they totally abolish okay students with the help of the law and this way receiving a dowry has been banned by law okay students our social problems see students our social problems are the illiteracy means who are not educated illiterate afterwards child marriage see that superstition not to believe in superstition blind faith and child labor all these are our social issues okay students wrong customs and tradition causes the neglect of sub section of society they have no access to education therefore they do not get opportunities of development they have no means of livelihood therefore they have to face poverty problem okay so see students wrong customs and tradition it causes the neglect of sub section of the society okay and they have no access of education they are not taking any education and if they are not taking education that means they do not get any opportunities of development they are not they not make any development okay students because they are not educated they have no means of livelihood okay and therefore they have to face poverty problems means garibi okay so therefore they have to face poverty problems and you know students poverty and lack of education are the two big obstacles in our society okay students lack of lack of education means what who are not educated and uh, poverty means garibi so poverty and lack of education are the two big obstacle in our society we can only make progress together if we get rid of these obst obstacles and say students that means what is very important we can only make progress together if we get rid of these obstacles okay students think our environment so say students what is our responsibilities are there we have to protect our environment okay without reason not to cut the trees and uh, safe students we have to protect our environment because environment is very very important to us just as laws are necessary to maintain equality and justice in society laws are also required for the protection of environment so see students that means just as laws how the laws are necessary to maintain equality equal all are equal boys and girls man and women all are equal and justice and each and every person should get a justice in society so same way laws are also required for the protection of our environment okay students we are dependent on nature in many ways most of our needs are fulfilled by nature you know students that means we are totally dependent on nature in many ways and most of our needs are fulfilled by nature only see that natural resources should be available in enough quantities for the needs of our future generation as students you all know that natural resources should be um, that means minerals all this should be available in enough quantities for the needs of our future generation okay 
and therefore we must conserve these natural resources. We have to protect these natural resources. We must use them carefully, okay, not to waste them. And this way, students, protecting our environment is very, very important to us. Because as your human beings, it is our responsibilities are there. We have to protect our environment. And say, students, that means uh, natural resources should be available in enough quantities for the needs of our future generation. And therefore, we must conserve these natural resources. And we must use them carefully, properly, not to waste them. Okay, students? Do you know, see students, do you know totally cancer market pencil and what we have learned that you are totally cancer market pencil, no need to read this. Exercise, question number one, fill in the blanks. Question number two, answer in one sentence. Question number three, answer in shorts. So see students, all these are the assignment I am giving to you as your homework. You have to write this in your notebook and read this lesson twice, two times properly. I hope that you understood this lesson. Thank you.